Hello, Jess Too Good here, and today I'm doing a look at the LEGO Star Wars 2020 Yoda's lightsaber set, which has 140 pieces and is a promo if you buy the Moss Eisley Cantina from LEGO stores or shop at home. That set keeps selling out, so good luck getting this. I don't even know how long this promotion lasts. I was trying to look for info on it. Let me know in the comments because there's not really a clear way, and I doubt LEGO will sell this for the lifetime of the Moss Eisley Cantina. But anyways, we have an exclusive printed piece at the stand here. But taking that lightsaber off, no, there's no translucent lightsaber blade. That would have been really cool as just kind of like a role play item. You would grab it and it does feel actually pretty darn cool. But nope, not getting any blade there. The build doesn't have too many pieces, but it does look pretty nice with some two by fours attached via some Technic pins. These curved pieces in the middle. I don't like how this end is where these curved pieces can fall off very easily. They're not really secure in just how this is built. I also don't like how you could see that Technic pin showing through there. That's quite annoying. Other than that, let's put this on the handle. I said let's put it on the handle. I mean, let's put the handle on the stand, which you could put either that way or facing this way. It slides really well onto there, just a nice fit. The stand itself, has a print that's exclusive to the set, which says Lego Star Wars Yoda's lightsaber. Funny how that's printed and not the 40th anniversary Best Bin dual stand. Maybe they didn't want to put an exclusive print in a Star Wars San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, which it seemed like the Best Bin dual was gonna be a Comic-Con exclusive and then they just rebranded it. But with the shaping of the stand, it's nothing too special. Like I said, I just like how it aligns with the handle so well. But yeah, this promo seems more of an experiment. I think they're trying to see what the reception is on this handle and see, hey, is there interest here? And maybe in the future, we'll get these full-on buildable lightsaber roleplay-esque toys. I like that idea, and I hope LEGO goes there. It would be cool to just have a lineup of all these different lightsabers because they could go the roleplay kids route or they could go the display route like this and have just a professional-looking lightsaber. Either way is cool, but what we have here honestly isn't too exciting. The handle build is something that we haven't seen from LEGO before, this light size lightsaber. Light size? Life size, I mean. But all in all, it is missing the most interesting part for me, which is the blade, and that would have been really cool to get. But as a promo, I wish it was less exclusive. I wish this was something that people could get just by spending $100 or more on LEGO Star Wars. So yeah, if you buy the Moss Eisley, you'll get it. Or if you buy another expensive set with all the recent releases, you could get it as well. But nope, LEGO wants it to be super limited and you're not missing out on too much, honestly. But if you like exclusive prints, you're gonna like this little stand right here, this part of the stand. There's one last part, and that is the box. Which, what happened? I, I swear Stone Wars was saying that this was just a box rendering and this wasn't the real box, but no, I mean, they showed the real box in that first image. This is exactly how it looked, except with a different barcode, presumably the, I don't know, European barcode or something. So yeah, that was always the real box. I even reinstated the news video. This is actually the instructions that you could remove, but it kind of serves as a cover before you open the set. And the instructions themselves don't have any interesting ads. Very short too. But anyways, that's it for Yoda's lightsaber. Let me know what you guys think of this set in the comments below. And if you know how long this promotion lasts, that would help in the comments too. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.